Hey guys, it's me, Ash. Some of you may remember me as a has-been Clash Royale, Clash of Clans YouTuber here, and I haven't posted on the channel in about three or four weeks. Uh, and I miss you guys, and I wanted to wish you a very happy, healthy, and safe 2024. Happy New Year's, guys. Uh, I don't want to be a stranger here on the channel. I'm sure <laughs> half of you guys have probably left and turned off your bell notifications, but the five of you who are still around, I just wanted to say I'm not going anywhere. And, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to send some love and positivity your way, especially if you need it right now uh, i wanted to share this uh tweet or this x post <laughs> that i made this this morning uh eh, these are these are difficult for me eh, kind of because i do want to speak about something other than just video games all the time you know uh so you got to kind of pick and choose your spots at the same time and never my intention to <laughs> in a world where everybody's offended by everything literally uh all i really want to do is be a break and, and that's what i want to do here next year on the channel right I want to be this, if every headline is freaking negative that you read, if everybody is divided in this world, no matter where you go, if you're stressed out, friends, family, loved ones, relationships, work, school, whatever, whatever you're going through, my goal has been and remains just to be a little bright spot in your day. An area that's just going to be positive, that's just going to be cool, going to be chill, and that's it. And that's it, you know. So anyway, I wanted to share this quick New Year's wish with you guys. I want to read the post here. As naive as it may seem, I'm still wishing for peace in 2024. Hate, the pa hate is the path of the weak, and it will consume you. It will. Hate will consume you. It will change the person that you are. If you find yourself hating or disliking people that you don't even know, you're a victim of state or media propaganda. It's just true. You can, you can dislike, you know, governments or countries or leaders or whatever, or people that you know. But human beings? No. No. It's not where it's at. Chinese, Haitians, Ukrainians, Russians, Americans, Iranians, Israelis, Somalians, Indians, the rest of humanity, we're all the same. We're all ultimately in this together. We just are. That's a fact. Leaders might be evil. Governments might be corrupt. Yet the majority of civilians around the world are the same at their core. Children everywhere play and dream just the same. Their innocence, it gets stripped as they get older. They deserve our love and care just the same. Children everywhere, everywhere, no matter where you're from, deserve our love and care of everybody in the world. That shouldn't be a controversial statement. Traveling the world has opened my eyes to these truths. It's so true. It's, it, I wish there was a way to require traveling to everybody in the world. I wish there was because when you go and you meet people that maybe you thought were different or scary or mean or spiteful or whatever, you quickly recognize it's absolutely not the case at all. You know, it changes your perspective. And those of you who, who are well-traveled out there, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, let's never forget that hate is the easy path. Love and peace is difficult. Let's not take humanity's fra fragility for granted. This is so true, right? It's so easy to hate. So easy. Love, peace, incredibly challenging. I'm not sitting here saying that me, some freaking... You know, guy who's had it pretty easy, gone through my struggles for sure, but relatively speaking, you know, I'm pretty safe, pretty, pretty happy, you know, my family is too. And I know it's easy to say, you know, peace on earth. It's much, much, much more difficult to actually strive to create that, right? And that's the challenge. It's so easy. Just fall into to hate Republicans, Democrats, you know, here in the United States, anywhere, seeing other people as others and not as humans deserving of your respect. If you feel that way, if you feel, I'm talking to you, if you feel that way, if you feel that creeping into you, that sort of judgment of others, man, you're a victim of, you're a victim, you're a victim of propaganda, of media or whatever, you know, because ultimately we're all freaking people, man. Let's not take humanity's fragility for granted. Like I said, we're fragile. We're fra it could end unless we're vigilant. So far in this vast universe, we're the only conscious beings that we know of, right? Thus, we're the universe experiencing itself. We're the only particles in the universe that have a conscience 
to be able to explore and try to understand what the heck this all is. And that is, thus, we are the universe experiencing ourselves. I'm not sure if that's Carl Sagan, but it's a famous quote. <laughs> It's our duties as, as a species to, un, to continue to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos and escape the great filter. Basically, to travel, to, to leave Earth eventually, right? It's our, I feel like it's our duties as a species. And I know this is, gosh, for half of you guys, for 99% of you guys watching, you're probably, dude, what is this guy talking about cosmos? And I'm trying to celebrate the new year. But, I mean, it's just reality. It's just reality, you know? what else it, when we talk about like real meaning in this world you know what else what else really is there everything else is a distraction to some extent you know in addition to technology this endeavor necessitates peace composure and collaboration right to so to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos and es escape the great filter it, it, it requires technology of course but peace and composure and collaboration so we can work together and and, and stay alive as a species until we, we get to that point, right? We must rely on the younger generations to prevent this century from repeating uh, the last or worse. I mean, massive world wars, genocide everywhere. You know, in this, this uh, century, frankly, it's not looking that great, you know? Uh, it's the generation. That's, that's what gives me hope, you know? is the, the future generations out there. The future generations, it's in your hands, you know? It's in your your hands, likely. I think my, the average age of viewers here is early 20s, la, based on my last demographics. Uh, it's in your hands, guys. It's in your hands to fix the follies of the elders, <laughs> you know, out there. Uh, and, 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 you know, try to, try to do something good with your life and try to promote love and peace and positivity it's not easy not at all I'm not being naive it's not easy it's very challenging but humanity and this is not an exaggeration it's not hyperbole humanity is in your hands guys i miss you all happy new year i'll definitely be around uh again be safe be healthy and a uh, little bit of love your way especially if you need it out there much love happy new year